He was the one who actually did it. Many people doubted his ability to pull it off. Nonetheless, here we are. In his 19th season in the league, LeBron James has surpassed Karl Malone to become the NBA's second leading all-time scorer, surpassing the legendary Michael Jordan. It had been speculated for years that he would be able to pull it off, but it wasn't certain whether or not it would actually happen. This time, LeBron goes for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who ranks first all-time in the NBA in terms of points scored as of this writing. While LeBron seeks to add another accomplishment to his resume, let's take a look at the stars that are most likely to rise to the position of number two, which James currently occupies in the rankings. First up, Stephen Curry at 20,064 points. Many individuals may be enraged that Stephen Curry is only given an honorable mention in this list of notables, but the Golden State Warriors star is one of the league's best scorers, so what's going on here? His age, as well as his current total, are important considerations. Curry is already 34 years old, making him a senior citizen in the NBA. We talk about his skill maturing gracefully with age, but even if that's true, it's unlikely that he'll ever be able to compete with LeBron James. Curry currently has just over 20,000 points, which is a far cry from LeBron's 36,947. In order to keep up with James, he'll have to score more than 50 points a game in his next two seasons, which is pretty unlikely. Carmelo Anthony is a basketball player who plays for the LA Lakers with 28,218 points. The possibility of Carmelo Anthony cracking the top five on the NBA's all-time scoring list existed if he'd been a more efficient scorer during its heyday. He's currently ranked second on the leaderboard for active scoring, which is a remarkable achievement in and of itself. However, if things continue as they are, Melo will be content with a top 10 finish. To be honest, this is still a very remarkable achievement in and of itself. Next up, Kevin Durant at 25,176 points. It's possible to claim that Kevin Durant is the best pure scorer in the history of the NBA. The amazing scoring powers of the Brooklyn Nets star have been his calling card throughout his career. With everything from pull-ups in the mid-range to silky smooth drives to the rim and catch-and-shoot threes, this man can do it all. At the very least, he's the most well-rounded scorer on the team right now. The most important reason why Durant can quickly catch up to LeBron in the NBA scoring leaderboard is his consistency, rather than his athleticism, which allows him to compete on a level playing field. Throughout his career, Durant has averaged at least 25 points per game in every game. Instead of putting up outrageous scoring bursts like the other guys, KD can put up 30 points on a nightly basis. This is further helped by the fact that his scoring game does not rely on athleticism to a great extent. When compared to high-flying guards like Russell Westbrook, John Morant, and others, KD depends on great fundamentals and his length to score from wherever on the court. It's not difficult to imagine him dropping 30 points at an advanced age. Next up, James Harden for 23,264 points. Despite the fact that James Harden is a year younger than his former colleague Kevin Durant, he isn't far behind him in terms of scoring totals. Despite the fact that he has been a six-man for a few years, he is among the top scorers in the league because of the heavy workload that he received in Houston. There, he demonstrated that a three-point shooter of NBA caliber can flourish on threes, layups, and free throws. It is for these reasons that Harden has a legitimate shot at challenging LeBron for the distinction of the second-best all-time scorer. If he's forced to carry another team on his back, as he did with the Rockets, he has the potential to put up monster stats across the board in all three phases of the game. That has the potential to catapult him to the top of the league. Harden's inability to play in an in-between game, on the other hand, is the one thing holding him back. When combined with the Beard's cutting strike, the possibility of a step-back three becomes even more devastating. If you take away his shiftiness and rapid acceleration, teams will be more inclined to allow him to assault the paint in the second half of games. Next up, Luka Doncic with 6,626 points. It's important not to overlook Luka Doncic's ability to score. Despite the fact that he's only been in the league for four years, the Slovenian sensation has established himself as one of the league's most prolific scorers. His step-back three and slashing style, similar to Harden's, allow him to control his opponents to his desire. He has the ability to torch you in any manner imaginable, and he will do so in style. The possibility exists that Luka Doncic will be able to break LeBron's all-time scoring record at some point in the future. Luka, in contrast to LeBron, already has a dependable three ball in his back pocket. It's possible that the bubble and the reduced season will slow him down, but don't be surprised if we're still on Luka watch in 20 years. Next up, Giannis Antetokounmpo with 14,077 points. Giannis, you're a jerk. We don't even know where to begin with you. 
Although Antetokounmpo had a sluggish rookie season and a lackluster sophomore year, he was able to climb his way up in the NBA's active leading scoreboard. In his current standings, he has just a little over 14,000 points, which isn't too shabby for a guy who had trouble shooting the ball. The major factor preventing Giannis from moving up to second position on the all-time scoring leaderboard is his playing style, which has been criticized. He plays similarly to LeBron in that he prefers to attack the paint with his athleticism rather than the perimeter. However, playing in this manner frequently has the effect of shortening a player's career, James being the one exception to that rule. On the other hand, Giannis appears to possess the same bionic healing abilities as LeBron has demonstrated. And one final point to mention, it's also possible that none of these players will be able to compete with LeBron in any way. Being a member of the NBA for 19 years is a tremendous accomplishment in and of itself. It's near impossible to maintain a 25 point per game average for 19 years, yet LeBron accomplished it. His career is a once in a lifetime phenomenon, and it is possible that we may never see anything like it again. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.